some guy. Are oh, you just going right into it? Oh, he's solid. Watch out, Eddie. Yeah, you're just jumping. Oh, I think. I've got it. Hey, 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 hey. Let's see. Nice. Where? Freak me out like that. Let me see if there's anything else in this front area. Yep, there's a desk. Probably an office. Is he turning off the hard line? I this way. I'm ready. Hooked on a feeling? Three of seven, okay. So we might be sparring then, huh? Bam! Although maybe that key will let me in there. No. Hmm. I'll pick up 50. I think I'll pick this way. 30? 31? Yeah, no, even with the drugs in the magazine, I ain't getting in there. Eddie, move. Caps. More money, definitely. Gotta yeah, take that. Hard safe. Okay, so the key's about useless, apparently. <laughs> you know, now that I got Eddie with me, I th I, if I get overloaded, I can. That was empty, wasn't it? Can uh, start packing some stuff on. Stuff my endurance. Should I do it on stats? No, yeah, we'll do that. Endurance by one. Not much of value. What's that do with my endurance? Getting up? Close to health, resistance, okay.
prepared. Nice. Okay. We'll go up there in a minute. Good. I wanna, definitely want to clear up down here first. Oh, and zero money. That I'm keeping. Hey, Eddie. Why don't you... Probably could have done that through the companion command thing. But... Why don't you carry... A couple of my heavy things. Like, for example, the incinerator. Take some of this stuff too. So I'm gonna sell it in a bit, but you can take it for now. Act like I'm overloaded. I am not overloaded. Oh, I hit the block button. That's fine. It's supposed to. Nice. Clean scotch. Um. So you're the deputy, huh? Yeah. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Yep, you must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Um, 
Hey, so I hear you got information on some cons that came through here with the guy in the checkered suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. Fair enough. Um, I'll set you free. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't just... No, actually, you know what? No. Yeah, run away. Then I'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms. And see you outside. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of the plan. I don't want you getting in my way. Anyone else in here? Nah, I think I got them all. Well, I can activate that and make some stuff, I guess. Possibly, I don't know. Thing. Nope. Right, well, before we leave, Eddie, we're going to go check out upstairs. Ooh. Probably I looked in that one, didn't I? Yep. That's just a piece of him that went flying over the place. take me upstairs if I didn't get that elevator working. Alright. I think I'm going to go to way to the elevator. Come on, Eddie. Over here! Tell me someone's wrong. Oh, you got him? Alright. Nice. Helps that sim pack I took. Check out these biker goggles, see how they look compared to No, actually no. Yeah. Blackened cinder pile. Ugh. Is that all? Might be. I think we caused a huge ruckus. <laughs> There's something in this empty whiskey bottle. Okay. Let's just throw the empty bottles in the. Okay. Why not? 
I think sneaking is no longer necessary. Take that. Fix up my uh, current hat with that. Get up here. Ah! Oh no! this way. Okay, I'm gonna need some food, some sleep. So we'll start with some food. I'll drink some uh, some colas to get my uh, sleep down too. The Nuka Cola raises my H2O, but since it's says real, it actually lowers it. Okay, that's good to know. me up. Nice. Okay. Well then. What do I want to get up? Get my science straight to 50, but I don't really need T2. My medicine and my lockpick. Let's get on. Let's get those up a bit. Also do my survival. Let's do repair. Get that up to 40. Lockpick. Now, I know that doesn't really do too much with my lockpick, but uh, it'll get me close. A little bit closer. And now we got some new choices. Nice. Alright, so let's run fence, spitzes. Cannibal, no thank you. Comprehension. I gain double the bonus from reading magazines and one additional point from skill books. Ooh, that's tempting. Educated. Gain two more skill points every time I advance in level. Now. Persistent manner. I've learned to stay frosty and wait for the right timing. It allows me to score more critical shots in VATS when I aim at an enemy who is I assume that might also uh, work with the bullet time. Piggy. Ha! <laughs> okay, more health and hydration when I drink from toilets and urinals. Radiation. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Running gun. No. No. Sunny and smiling. My bright attitude during the day makes other people happy. With this perk, my speech kill... No, that's... Tech Junkie. The fun never ends while tinkering around with robots. With this perk, I'm able to salvage more scrap metal from dead robots. Okay. Might take that later on, possibly. Get drunk and fight hard. With this perk, my companions will drink alcoholic beverage during combat to gain bonuses. Ha. Huh. You know what? I think... I'm gonna go with the Comprehension. I think that's a very nice one there. 
Nice. So I made it even real good to get my lock pick up to, to 30, because now I read and I get plus 20 every time I read a magazine. Ah, oh, no, I didn't want to fall down. Man, I love leveling up. <laughs> okay, not much else in here. The one, the one downside to this weapon, as much as I like it, is uh, when you once you get down to zero, you know, it takes a little bit to recharge. But you don't need to use it like super fast. It is fantastic. I think this is how I came up here, right? bathroom. Holy macaroni. That guy had some issues, Eddie. Anything else up on this level, or is that it? That's it. Alright, let's go down. Let's go back down. Gonna repair my hat. I yeah, conditions not so good. I guess getting shot at is, uh, you know, we'll do that. <laughs> Ooh, ransom note, huh? Mr. Peterson, if you want to see your wife alive again, bring the cash and a small and small unmarked bills to the Bison Steve on Tuesday. Pre-war pre-war mystery, I'm guessing. Chinese pistol. Nice. Yeah. I saw that. <laughs> Convicts in here? I feel like. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm supposed to find a safe with the. Uh... Did I take the earnings clipboard? Dang it. Always the earnings clipboards. on the second floor, which is where I'm at, so I'm missing something. Steve for 
need to. Oh, is this to the this to the stair the stairs? Okay, no. Nope. Oh come on, where is it? It's a safe here somewhere. You saw that the whole time, didn't you? You weren't gonna tell me anything. Mm-hmm. Wall safe. Use key. Bison Steve blueprints. All right. Cool. All right, Eddie. We got that. And we got a key from one of these guys. So maybe it'll open one of the ones downstairs that I couldn't get earlier. Were they both in here? No. One was in here, and I think the other was in that uh, gift shop spot, wasn't it? No, average. <laughs> but I can read a book now, I believe, right? What book is it? Yes. Keep me out now. Nice. Okay, and then and then this way. Gift shop. Oh, that one's hard. Deck nab it. Okay. So what was that other key for that I got? What was it called? and Steve Maintenance Hotel Cabinet. Huh. I don't know. No, well, let's get out of here and uh, let's talk to the deputy. Ooh, it's laid out now. Where's he at? Probably went to the Vicky and Vance, didn't he? Now the question is, is he sitting somewhere being invisible? In one of these chairs? I, I gotta figure out what that issue is. It's obviously uh, some, some mod conflict somewhere. Hey, Beagle. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Um... What are the qualifications to be sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Huh. All right. Fair enough. I'll uh, I'll help bring some law and order. You will. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Wonder if there's another way. Howdy. Oh, hey. <clears throat> so you're the ones going to bring the law back to Prim? I'll believe it when I see it. Hey there. I got your, um, your blueprints. I'll talk to you in a minute.
Howdy, partner. Any luck tracking down Vance's gun? Uh, no, I haven't found it. Dang it. I hope you'll keep looking. Yeah, no, I will. Um... <laughs> you know... I think you should be the sheriff of this town. You, you seem a right, righteous fellow. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. Yeah! <laughs> Happy trails, partner. No problem. Yeah, I brought law and order back. Hey there. Deputy Beagle. Howdy. Where's the deputy? Hey, hey, Beagle. Well, if it isn't the lawbringer. Oh, I gotta say it like that. My problem is that I'm no longer a deputy. I'm just a beagle now. Slim's all right. I don't wish him no harm, but the law to him is a set of logic. Not everything is black and white. Not sure a robot can ever understand that. Wah, wah, wah. Life's not fair. Now tell me about well, Benny. if it isn't the lawbringer. All right. I saved your, your butt in that, that casino, so don't even... Tell me about the dude in the checkered suit. All right, before, before I before I slap you upside the head. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They said mm -hmm. they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Nipped into no room as a new sheriff. All right. That should keep the powder gangers away. Yes, yes, it should. Hey, Steve, Steve, buddy. I, I, I don't know if buddy's the right word, is it? We don't really know each other that well yet, but business partner. From the look on your face, I'd say you got something for me. Am I right? Uh, yeah, I got them blueprints. Great job, partner. These prints give me a good idea how much more stuff we need. It looks like we should be able to salvage enough material from around the hotel to get the basic stuff done. Won't be much, just walls and a floor, but it's a start. Some of the town folks are itching to get to work, but they won't hit a lick until we get some law in this town. The sooner we get a new sheriff, the sooner we can get to cracking. Think you can help? Um, yeah, no, I already found a new sheriff, so law and order has been restored, my friend. Well, let's hope this new sheriff fares better than the last one. And God help us if he's anything like that retard <laughs> beagle. That man couldn't find his own ass sitting on a toilet seat. Oh, don't worry about it. It's, um, it's old Prim Slim there, so you got, you got law and order covered. So, but yeah, no, beagle would not have made a good sheriff. Hey, I need a minute or two to go over these prints and supplies, okay? Won't you go wet your whistle and come see me in a little spell? Alright. I'll go talk to Nash. Instead, we can rebuild him. Alright. Show me all the blueprints. <laughs> Alright, so. Novak to Nipton. Okay. It was restored and prim. Go check back with Steve. Okay. Quigley, let's. Where's he at? Yeah, he's way out of my way, so I'll get to him eventually. Wasn't there? No, let's just talk to Nash, I guess, yeah. Steve, get off them slot machines for two seconds. Hey, thanks for helping out the town. We got a lot riding on this. And let's hope that things stays peaceful around here for a while. We's got work to do. Yep, so, um, so what, what's the whole point of all this with the blueprints and everything? Well, like I said earlier, this hotel's been in my family since long before I was born. It was my granny Lori's dream to restore it. 
After she left, I found her journal with all her plans for the restoration. Seems she and old Buck Brunson had been working on this for months. Already had most of this stuff set up when she up in R-U-N-N-O-F-T. Uh, so why would they up in R-U-N-F-O-F-T with all this work? When the convicts took over, it just broke her spirit like a wild bronc. Just couldn't take it no more. Well, sometimes we bend, sometimes we break, I reckon. Suppose she didn't believe she'd ever see her dream fulfilled and this place reopened. So she give up and let out for the West. Maybe, if I can get word to her what we're doing, she'll come back. I don't know, though. Fair enough. Um, so who's Buck Bronson? Yep, Texas Buck Brunson, to be more precise. High-stakes poker player, businessman, and all-around wheeler-dealer if it ever was one. Here it is, some kind of adventurer back in the day, too. He's got a nice place up in North Vegas. His niece Anna keeps the place up while he's gone. All right, um, so he's an adventurer? Yep, not too unlike yourself, huh? Don't know too much, but he used to do his share of prospecting up in Arizona. But then the Legion took over most of the area, and he settled down around here. He is getting a mite too long in the tooth to be doing that stuff anymore anyhow. So, when he got Anna, he settled down quite a bit. Hey, she's also working with us on this project. She's got a few connections, and she's haggling out some deals for our supplies. You'll want to get to know her for sure. Alright, and so, so who is she exactly? Pretty little thing. Yep, she's keeping up his place while he's away on one of his poker runs to New Reno. You'll be meeting her soon enough, I expect. Alright, and so what kind of stuff you already got lined up? Most everything needed to finish the job. Blueprints, furniture, equipment, custom casino gear. This even says we're getting, uh, coup tree mints. Whatever the hell that is from Michelangelo's. Of course, you already knew about them blueprints. I'm still studying on what all else we need. I'll let you know about each thing we need as I figure them out, okay? Alright, that sounds good. So, what next? Well, now that we got a new sheriff, the workers can finish the demo and start getting the inside fixed up. Glad these town folk need something to do, because with all the help we got, it shouldn't take too long. But, the next thing we need to do is get all the lights installed and back on. I think we can scrounge up plenty of the basic lights from around the hotel. But I just don't think anything we could dig up will work for the casino. For that, we just need something a lot nicer. Alright, what you got in mind? I've been going through some of Grandma's journals and I found something interesting. Looks like old Buck Brunson had some lights ordered from some feller up in Vegas, but I ain't never heard of him. If we can find him and turn in this here order, they should be ready to ship if I read this right. Old Buck's niece, Anna, might know who this feller is, so you need to hightail it up to her and see what she knows. You'll need this password to get inside. Just tell Anna I sent you and she'll trust you. We go way back. Alright, I'll see what I can figure out. Hey, one last thing. Be sure and bring me a receipt. Don't know if we can trust this fella or not. Fair enough. Okay, so... Lighting order, huh? Talk to Anna. Where she is. Bit up north too. All right. So this place. Okay. So I got some definite points of interest out that way. Okay. So you nipped in. I want to check that outpost out though. Oh, yeah, CRCF. Oh yeah. I came on because uh, uh, Beagle suggesting a guy there. Screw that. If he was, if he was convicted, he's in there with them, them convicts. Yeah, he's shooting up this town. That guy. Right. Let's go see if that Nash has opened his store back up, Eddie. Howdy. Hey there, oh Ruby Nash. Okay. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Nothing. Um, I just saved your town. So who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are prim long-timers. He fancies himself a trader, and I know my way around a kitchen. 
All right, so what do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor, and it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. <laughs> well, thanks, so um, I'd like to try some of that. Does sound good, don't it? Mm -hmm. How many red scorpion glands you got? Um, big fat zero? Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. Alright. Goodbye. I sound so sad. She sounds so sad. Well, you know what? I need to get some sleep, don't I? Before uh, doing anything. The sea ain't gonna be open. You know where? Isn't that right, Prim Residence? There's gonna be a bed around here somewhere. You know where a bed would be at? There'd be plenty of beds. And this bison Steve that I just cleared up. 